Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPNet's video series on C++ and in this video we will be looking into this constant member functions in C++. So yeah, you have constant member functions and the use of that is it restrict the modification of data members inside function. But you still have one way of changing that and we'll see how it works. So let's create that traditional class base. And let's make this integer x and default and the parameterize integer a. You might think I'm keeping this all the time similar, right? But there is a reason for that. If I won't do this, you will find hard to remember stuff. Now you can relate, okay, from the previous video. That's why I'm keeping these all these things similar. So now the question is. It restrict the modification of data members inside functions. So let's create the functions and let's create some getters and setters. So void set x, which will set x as a and we'll get a here. And let's make integer get x. This is gonna return x. Okay. Now what you want to do is in this function, what you are just doing is you're just taking this x and returning from this function. You're not changing this x. So what you can do is you can create this function, a constant function, and it will say that I'm a constant function. I will not be able to change data members. So if it is non-constant member function, whatever data members it can change, after making this function constant, it cannot change those data members. So this is the way of making it constant. After writing this, the function name in these round brackets, this becomes a constant function. So let's just quickly see this. If you are having this b here and b dot set x, you are setting this value as 10 and b dot get x, you should be getting that value right so let's print this see we got 10 here it's cool now i wanted to tell you that if you will change something let's suppose you're saying get x but you want to change it into 20 inside this and after that you want to return that x so if you will compile this you'll get the error error assignment of member this is read only object so this is what I said, but there is a way actually. So that way is this mutable keyword. So if you will make this data member as a mutable, it says that other all data members are not allowed to be changed in constant, but this mutable is. So now it will compile. Let's compile this. See, it compiled and you got 20 now because you call this function and it changes the value and then you are getting this x. So you got the changed one. So if it is mutable, then only you, it is allowed to change inside this constant. I will show you with another one. Let's make it something like y here. Not required to initialize it here, but still okay. y and b and just do this. y is equal to make it 30. Okay. so. There is no problem with this, but there is a problem with this. So let's compile and check this. See, it is telling here assignment of member and the same error. Okay, so that's it. This is the use of this constant member function. This is a great message to the viewer of your code that this function is only for the purpose of returning something, but surely it will not change any data members and if that guy want to verify that that guy can just simply see this data members are they mutable if they are mutable then they can be changed here if they are not then this function is totally constant function okay so that's it if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that if i'm pushing any video you will get the notification right away thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye